today we will be focusing on Hollywood's adaptation of anime into live action. Uh, to my left I have somebody who doesn't matter, but to my right we have a special guest. What is your name? My name is Valerie Green. What do you do? I'm a freelance writer for various movie and comic book sites, and I'm from New York City. That is incredible that you have not been mugged. Now, we're, today we're going to be talking about... I'm Jonathan. He does not matter. <laughs> Sir? Well, the reason why whitewashing happens on the anime films in Hollywood and most films in general is because Hollywood is looking at a demographic. They see the majority demographic as being white males and despite what they will tell you about other demographics and other races, when they do that and they cast white, they're doing that to represent the majority. What say you? Um, I've talked with a lot of people who say, um, you know, Japanese animated characters don't have a race, or they're drawn to look more Western, so that would mean they would be European. Anyway, that's completely false. The characters, a lot of characters are made uh, and tailored to Japanese folklore, making, uh, leaving you to assume that they are Japanese. So when they whitewash these characters in these adaptations, it can sometimes change the story 360 degrees, and that's not always good. But let me just put it out there. A lot of the animated influence comes from Walt Disney. That's why you see big eyes, sometimes you see blonde hair, white hair, whatever. But let's keep it real, and let's be honest. These characters are Japanese. Major Motoko Kusanagi. That is a Japanese name. That is not a Western name for a Western female. <laughs> Hollywood doesn't use the more popular animes. I think it has a lot to do with a little bit of arrogance and a little bit of trying to find something that they deem sophisticated and existential so that they can they they look they look at this as not only are they trying to get numbers, but what can they make that seems like art? I think that what they want to find is a particular niche niche. They're chasing after a matrix. They're chasing after an inception. They want to find something, something smart or something that they can say they had success with adapting as opposed to um, looking for specific material that is deemed popular. The rip-offs, the anime rip-offs. Well, a lot of that once again has to do with representation. They bring that stuff over here and they want to adapt it and make it Americanized so that it'll appeal to the general public. I don't think, I don't, I disagree with that because I don't think they've necessarily done well. Pacific Rim didn't do all that well and got saved by the international, um, by the international audience as opposed to the Hollywood or American uh, audience. <laughs> The, the third party market. Mortal Kombat is another example of that. I just thought about that. I don't know what happened to Mortal Kombat. Michael Jai White came out with that seven minute video and all of a sudden it had a series. And it was pretty good. I don't know what happened to it, but I have no idea why they don't draw inspiration or ask those people. Uh, you know, Hollywood is a very tight knit group and they don't like outsiders. Um, and also it's about control. A lot of, a lot of people don't want to give over that creative control that they would if they had to join in Hollywood. Because remember, the director isn't the be-all, end-all. It's the producer, the person with the money. And to that, I want to say this. What I said about how Hollywood funds those people and they don't have the foresight. You got to look at it like this. Those two guys could have kept making those Street Fighters and how long could they have theoretically gone before they stopped making them because of money reasons? That never would have happened. They they probably would have made like a season at best. There's stuff out there that I watch that's independent that they made a full season to them might be two episodes or three episodes because they don't have the money to sustain. 